Let's go. Oh, okay. Let's go. text about uh, how to meditate on emptiness and we reached a part where we were discussing the emptiness of a person, no self of a person and then there was a question about how closely do we relate to our body, like is, is, my, is Michael's body Michael or not, see, how do we think about Michael's body and then uh, there's a traditional uh, comment on that question where they say it, it happens that as people, people get really old and their body starts to fall apart and they've been a Buddhist their whole life, <laughs> then they, they're like, yeah, I'm looking forward to changing out this body for a Deva body, you know, like a Wonder Woman body. You know, they're, they're like, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I, I, I had a Christian priest uh, in, in my school. And uh, he was like, I'm really looking forward to my reward, you know. He actually <laughs> said that one day, you know. Oh. He's like, I'm looking forward to my next body, because this one now is getting really uh, unpleasant. And, and the author says, this proves that uh, people are capable of distancing themselves from their body. They, they think Michael is a, a, one thing, and Michael's body is a separate thing. Mm -hmm. So there does exist a human capacity for saying, I am not my body. Mm -hmm. Because uh, people can say, I want to switch my body. Mm -hmm. Then that means they don't think they are their body. They think there's some Michael who owns the body, uh, who is a separate <laughs> thing. Okay? So that's where we are. Can she like put your link in? Uh, yeah, this computer is this way. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> bottom right. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Page oh, yeah, there's bottom a right. slider on Page the bottom right. right. Oh, okay. Let's do that. I can just go like this. Yeah. Oh, or just yeah. do that. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. great. That's probably the easiest. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> for that giant track. <laughs> so, uh, that, the, the conversation is now going to go to Namdel. Uh -huh. Article? Yeah, yeah it's Hemanamda, yeah, uh, Pramanavartika, which we discussed mm -hmm. in the class yesterday, uh -huh. written by Dharmakirti, Dharmakirti, okay. Famous stuff. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
And I, you can see my own notes that I made to myself in here. Okay. Chokshen do ni nye chi dang. Kenji lo che ni ki che. Kyo di wang so ne. Da ni ta ni shi bang yo. Chokshen, a different higher one. This is the chok. Hmm. Choke and quen choke, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Higher, supreme. supreme. So, I can't see the screen because that window is very bright. I can see the screen. smile is so bright. <laughs> the window is very <laughs> bright. Uh, Do you think it's reflecting the <laughs> sun? <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Choke and yeah. yeah. Okay, so dindin yewa means to aspire. Right, we have it in Lamrim, it comes in the Lamrim. Dunya means to aspire. Uh, so they aspire to a higher other one. And ag again, Namdal is very difficult to understand. Pramanavartika is very difficult to understand. Kenji Lochin Yikiche. And because the, they possess a mind which is starting and stopping, Kewadi uh, Wangsole. This person understands that they are separate from their sense powers. Now, mm. I, I, I prefer to go get a commentary so I can really taste it, yeah. you know, so I can really understand it. And, and this is a Galupa thing. This is a Tsongkhapa lineage thing. Mm. And I was in Shenzhen, somebody asked me, you are Galupa, right? <laughs> and I feel something, uh, I don't like it. I think Galupa feels to me like a political thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm Tsongkhapa. <laughs> I follow Tsongkhapa, you know. And people ask me, what's your, are you Sakya, are you Kagyu? I say, no, I'm Tsongkhapa. And they say, are you Galupa? I say, no, I'm Tsongkhapa. Because <laughs> 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 no. I really feel like that. I feel like I, 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 I'm not interested in a political lineage or this leader or that leader. I don't like it. I'm following Tsongkhapa, okay? And, and one of, if you're at Tsongkhapa, yeah, Mm -hmm. uh, then one of the main beliefs you have is when you get to something hard, slow down mm -hmm. and crack it, you know, mm -hmm. until it's all flat. Then go on to the next thing, you know. <laughs> and if it's easy, just skip. Okay, if you get to something easy in the scripture, mm -hmm. like okay, that anyone can understand that. Show me the hard part, mm -hmm. you know. And then when you get to the hard part, slow down and and don't avoid it. Okay, like so, it, it, the sign of a Tsongkhap being is they go for the hard part and then they crack them with the database. Okay, so I, I went and got you two commentaries to this verse because uh, I didn't understand the verse and I learned a lot from the two commentaries. And it's slow and it makes the translation great. Okay, how much you load on your reader. I, I mean, I would reduce these, the next class, in our class, to one or two sentences in the footnote. You see, you don't want to overburden your reader. Mm -hmm. If this author had wanted to explain that verse, they would have. <laughs> and, uh, uh, they didn't want to. Mm -hmm. But as you will see, uh, the verse is not what it seems. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's lucky that we have the database. It, it's a godsend. It's a sa lifesaver <laughs> that you can go to the database and you can clarify these verses. Okay, so you have to learn to use the database, and you have to encourage other people to use it. You know. So here it is. I went to Geshe Yeshe Wangjuk. I claimed the yesterday in the DCI teacher training class that it's the greatest commentary in the last five hundred years. And I believe that. It's yeah. amazing. Sik sik she. If you want to know the wording Word of the Pramanavartik, which is extremely difficult, go to Geshe Yeshe mm -hmm. so If you have a verse that you need to translate, go to Geshe Yeshe because he has each word and he cracks it. Okay? He, Gyaltsev J will have 20 pages on it and he won't mention the word text. <laughs> I mean, a little bit. But uh, Geshe Yeshe Wangchuk will say, this is what this word means, this is what this word means. And it's readable. Uh, so I, I really encourage you to go to him when you get it, when you get a Dharma Kirti quotation that you can't crack. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Nipa Tangi Tanchenki Dugapala Sum. What did you already learn? 
It's about the numerous. numerous. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this verse comes in a refutation of the Sankhya. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sankhya literally means numerous. Numerous meaning. They they count they things all the time. Count things as being like twenty five. Yeah. Okay. They count the whole universe as having twenty five categories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're called counters. <laughs> the counts. The counts. Count. Yeah. Count. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Whoa. Up, up, they're called up, counters. Up. Sankhya. And it is the school which took over the yoga tradition in India. Yeah. Okay. They're, you go to India, You someone gives a talk about yoga philosophy, it's going to be Sankhya. 90%. And the system is crazy. And the, the talks you hear are like, Nobody can understand it. I, I mean, I understand they're following Sankhya, but it, it's just, you know, weird. So anyway, here's, uh, he's, he's complaining about the Sankhyas uh, in 630 AD. 630 AD. Yeah, roughly 630 AD. Yeah. Uh, Rangshin Dankibu, he uses these two words, which Ben is master of now, <laughs> called Prakirti and Purusha. So this is a big idea in the Sankhya school. Okay. Prakirti means the nature of things, and Purusha means the pers people, individual, okay, the, the person. Tade Shepatsam Dulam to Mitepani. What's Dulam? Path of liberation? Yeah, the path to liberation according to the Sankhya, mm -hmm. is to understand Shepa, mm -hmm. that these two things are Tadepa. Same. Uh -oh. One and the same? No. no. Not different. Same. If you can learn to distinguish them, oh. you get liberated. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Okay? If you can learn to distinguish between the nature of the universe and, and the nature of you, yeah. then, you, then that's the, that's, you get out of samsara. Mm -hmm. That will take you out of samsara. Okay? Uh, and then he goes to this verse, you see? Uh -huh. So the purpose of this verse, Refutation. which you wouldn't guess, was to refute that idea. Mm -hmm. okay? And he adds, actually, uh, two verses. Okay? He says that the whole thing is in two verses. But the first of the two is the one we're, we want to know about. Chang Chen Be Ko Chaktana. Kochak means us guys. Mm -hmm. It's a colloquialism almost. Kochak means us guys. We talked about it in Pavonka. Mm -hmm. uh, they say, us guys, Wang Sao Yenden Chen Dan Kim Du Tong Wan Yi, Rinba Shin Du Korle Gyu Dan Tabik Yu Kim Yin Nen Ki. We don't accept that Wang Sao Yenden Chen Dan Kim Chen Du Tong Wan Yi. We don't accept that uh, understanding the, the good parts of the sense powers. Mm -hmm. and then understanding that there's a problem with them. You know, going from seeing the world as beautiful to going to seeing the world as samsara. Okay? We don't, we don't think that's an education. You know? We don't believe in that two-step process. Mm -hmm. That, oh, the world is the garden of delights. And then suddenly, you know, my uh, V's uh, son, his closest friend is 30 years old. He had a heart attack yesterday. Mm. He's dying today. Oh. And, you know, suddenly they're like, and the guy was beautiful and he was a musician and he was a poet and he was handsome. And, mm. and now suddenly this Yun Tan Chen went to Kim Chen. Mm -hmm. okay. mm. Be a beautiful mm. life oh, went to, it sh life showed itself. Okay. This thing about uh, what causes samsara, what causes freedom, came in. We don't accept it. Yeah, we don't accept, accept it. it. Who's that? The uh, Sankhya. Sankhya. Okay. We don't believe that. Well, not Chishina. Well, what do you believe? You know, <laughs> tell me what you do believe. Desoki Ranshin Dankebuni, the nature of happiness and the person, me, Lo Chik to Shambade, to believe that they are one. Uh. One, one manas? Or Ma something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. They are one. The one, mind. Okay. One substance? Low cheek. Okay. Mm. One mind. In their school, one mind. Mm. They call it one mind. Okay. Shemba. That shemba. What's shemba? Deny. No, we had it in oh, shemba. Attachment. Oh. Yeah, yeah, good. Oh, yeah, As in shemba shita. Oh, yeah. 
freedom from the four yeah. tenets. Yeah. This this uh, craving for thinking that mm -hmm. this wrong idea, this attachment to this wrong idea, is the core of you. Uh, the cause of some That's the cause of some sorrow. Some sorrow that you think that uh, nature of 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 happiness and the person are, are one mm -hmm. mind. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you could learn to separate them, you would be out of sensara. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you could understand that the two were separate, then the person uh, would be able to give up that mind. Mm. Okay, door means to throw away garbage. Um, okay, door means to, and long door means what? Uh, it's miscellaneous or like a, uh, just, what is that word? Long one than door one. Oh, things to take up, things to give up. Yeah, yeah. things you should yeah. be yeah. doing and things yeah. you should yeah. be doing. Yeah. Rejecting, things you should be rejecting. Yeah. So, if the person can learn to reject this mind, that believes that they are one, then uh, then the person would be free of desire. Mm -hmm. And they mm -hmm. and they would see happens. directly that Prakriti and Purusha are separate. Mm -hmm. And then that's Tarlam. Path of freedom. That's the path to freedom. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> then our response is dingy tade to ship at some key sipa le mi door tell okay because we believe it because we believe it we go up we believe it what did you just say those two um are the same tade different it's impossible no distinguishing no this sipa means only knowing is the sipa korla situation right will yeah. not free you from the circle Good. of suffering. Yeah, so the sipa here, which can mean possible or impossible, mm -hmm. is here is sipa korla, baba chakra. And by the way, that's another meaning of baba. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about that. Uh, okay? Mm -hmm. It's not going to get you out of samsara mm -hmm. to see that the person and the universe are separate. That's mm -hmm. not going to get you out of samsara. Mm -hmm. That's our position. Mm -hmm. Just knowing that. Mayimba tal, Then comes the verse. Okay, then comes the verse, and, and it's hard. Okay, Lam la majambe chipa, chipa, give me that. Lam la majambe chipa. Someone who gives up the path? Someone who doesn't jang, give up the path? Oh, 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 yeah, practice, practice. Yeah, practice. Someone who doesn't practice. Yeah, who doesn't practice the path, path. Yeah. and is there for a chipa. A kid, yeah, a two-year-old, yeah, a two-year-old, yeah, I'll kiss you. Okay, K O D. So now we know that that I underlined the root text for you. Thank you. Okay, so we can go back to her verse. Okay, way back here, and this K O here, right here, means. Uh, a person who does not know how to practice. It's not just a person. Oh. Okay? It, it means a chiba. Mm -hmm. He glosses it. Who's he? Uh, Dharma yeah. Kirti. No. no. Oh. Well, partly, but this is what he says. This kewo here oh, refers God. to someone who doesn't know religious practice. So, so, so it's not just mm -hmm. a person who's not seen emptiness directly, but a person specifically. Right. In this case, he's using chiba as a more lama jangwe. Concept, a person who hasn't practiced. Mm. They don't know the path. Okay? Okay? So we learned something already from his commentary. Okay? Kewa D, this kind of person, meaning who hasn't practiced the path. Rangi Wambo Dang. This Wambo means his sense powers, his powers. There's tw 22 powers in the second <coughs> chapter of the Abhidharma. Okay, for example, masculinity and femininity are there. Mm. So it's not just the sense powers. The powers can mean the, the powers of a human being, uh -huh. uh, the, the faculties. You can call faculties, okay? Rangi Wambodong, taste soak. So he adds day to the soak in the verse. When when Dharma Kirti says etc., mm -hmm. he's also talking about 
pleasure. Uh -huh. Okay, pleasant feeling. And that's important to the Sankhyas. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things you're supposed to see as separate. Because uh -huh. it's part of Prakriti. Yeah. Okay. Desoki uh, Rangshin Le. Okay, this Rangshin is probably Prakriti. Mm. Uh -huh. Le, the Kibu Purusha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Person and universe, uh, nature and the uni and the person, so important to Hindus, very important to Hindus. Prakriti, mm -hmm. the universe, nature, and then Purusha, the, the individual. Okay, okay. Well, Dani to Tade to Girpa Shape To know the difference. Yeah, they understand that they are separate, which is supposed to be the path to freedom. Okay, mm -hmm. but the point is here that any fool understands that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you could say chiba means any fool here. <laughs> you see what I mean? Okay, that's not such a big deal. Anyone can see they're not the table. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it? Mm -hmm. They're criticizing the sankhya. Mm -hmm. okay. It didn't make me free to understand I'm not the coffee cup. <laughs> okay, uh, any fool, you can, a two-year-old knows that. You know, for a while mm -hmm. they believe the mirror is themselves, and then, and then about when they get to two years old, they, they say, oh, I'm not the mirror, I'm not in the mirror, you know. They've learned mm -hmm. to separate themselves from the mirror. Mm -hmm. so he probably knows the exact month. <laughs> 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 you know, even a baby learns to separate themselves mm -hmm. from, from the mirror, for example. Okay. So we're, we're already saying, come on, even kids understand that. Uh, why? Because uh, people are, are aspiring uh, to their goals, okay? Purushas are aspiring to their goals for themselves, okay? And because of that attachment to aspiring for their goals, okay? By the way, that's also root text, right? Oh, no, it's down here. Shene, tatarki wombo dan dewa le chotikyo bashendu ninyamicha. They can hope for a body and mind which is superior to what they have now. Okay. Now. Oh, tanda. Oh, tanda. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is the, uh, day, is the day while they're hopeful? Yes, that's great. Uh, pleasure. Better. Oh. Yeah, a happiness, state of happiness. They're hoping for, after I die, I should mm -hmm. go to a better place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hoping for happiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the point, okay? Right. Chok Shen means another superior state. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. people get old, they start going to church, right? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah, yeah. 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 It's a direct correlation between church going and age. <laughs> <laughs> Closeness to death and, and, and Buddhism too. And people start doing mantras. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, they stop doing business, they start doing mantras. When they have their first stroke. Uh, okay. okay. How does this sentence connect to the last sentence? Anyone want to explain? Even a kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any fool knows the difference. That doesn't free you from samsara. No, uh, any fool knows that they are separate, separate from, from uh, things. Got it, yeah. Including their own body, right. their senses. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's true because they want to take a higher yeah. birth, which yeah. means they oh. know they don't yeah. have it yet. Yeah. Right. No, they perceive themselves as separate from their body. Mm -hmm. Right. I would oh. like to have a better one. <coughs> So yeah. therefore, they're able to, to wish for a higher birth because they aren't. They see yeah, themselves if as they didn't see themselves as separate, mm -hmm. they couldn't be wishing that I could have a better body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So the idea that people naturally distance themselves from their physical body mm. is proven in Dharma Kirti's criticism of the sankhya. Because mm. we're not. We're not talking about Sankhya's here. It's not at all, at all the point of our text. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to establish that people distance themselves from their body. People have the capacity to say, that's not me. Uh -huh. 
that's not the real me. Because especially your face, mm -hmm. you have a particular feeling about it. You know, that's me. Mm -hmm. People spend many hours, <laughs> you know, taking care of their face. No, because they relate to it. This yeah. is Michael. Mm -hmm. You see, but but he says this old old fight between Dharmakirti and the Sankhyas mm -hmm. brings up the point that people can wish I had a better body, mm -hmm. which means they don't really identify with their face. Even. Mm -hmm. You know, I could have a different face. Mm -hmm. You know, I could have a different body. Therefore. Although there's a natural tendency, kansaki dangbin, to mm -hmm. hold to the person, mm -hmm. people have the capacity to distance themselves from their physical body, mm -hmm. but that assumes a soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. And that's uh -huh. what one version of dark means. Right. In the lower teachings on emptiness, mm -hmm. uh, me, mm -hmm. you know, uh, is a soul. I have a soul. I will die, I will go to heaven, my body will be burned or buried, you see? Mm -hmm. So then there's this human need to say, I'm separate from my body. Mm -hmm. I have an existence which is separate from my body. And that one is permanent, unchanging. God mm -hmm. will pull me to heaven and take care of me, you know, and I will leave my body behind, you mm -hmm. know? And uh, there's a human need for it, to believe in that, you know? So. That's actually one of the selves that we are denying in Buddhism. Right. But he's, is he saying that the Sankhya's are implying that it does exist? Uh, or are you just saying that was no. commentary? No. Yeah. He's bridging from a criticism of the Sankhya's to, to asserting mm -hmm. that all human beings have this need to say, I have a soul. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, it's so in this case, excuse me, the word Atman which, you know, early Buddhist translator is called soul, mm -hmm. is actually close in this case. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, self, mm -hmm. capital S, mm -hmm. uh, is close to the idea here of soul. You know, something about me mm -hmm. shall continue after I die. Mm -hmm. Aside from my karma. <laughs> Aside from my seeds going off sequentially, mm -hmm. I have some existence other than that. And you don't. <laughs> you are the sequential firing of your seeds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that's enough to be happy for the rest of all time. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. You know, you don't have the kind of soul that you thought when you were a little kid. Mm -hmm. But you are the firing of your karmas one by one. So if you fix them, you can have this kind of soul that you always wanted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can go to heaven. Okay. So we're not saying Christians are wrong or something like that. We're just mm -hmm. clarifying how it works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want it, your soul to be honest? Be nice to other people. Mm -hmm. Then it will fire off that way. Mm -hmm. You see? Do you have a question? Yes, question. Mm -hmm. And so the knee after dark knee here is like soulness, like the, the quality uh, of the soul. Or something? Yeah. <laughs> how do you think? That's a good question. I'm saying they can't be done. Uh, we would have to see the Sanskrit, and there does exist a Sanskrit. It's not just Atman. But, uh, I, I would just say it's. Yeah, it's probably Atman. Yeah. yeah. It's probably Atman. Together, as, so as, so uh, as? It's probably Atman equated with Purusha here. Okay. Yeah. Thank uh -huh. you. Okay. Uh, Atman is the nominative. Mm -hmm. yeah, like right. yogin. Right, right, you know, right. right. Uh, in a sentence, uh, some new male, male? Nouns? Mm. Masculine. Masculine nouns are required <coughs> to take N, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which has a meaning of possession, Chen. Su Chen, for example. Su Chen. Mm -hmm. One who has yoga is called yogin. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But the uh, out, out of context is yogi. Mm -hmm. Sorry, opposite. Yogin is the raw form. Yeah. And yogi is the nominative, you see, so yeah. Atman huh. is the raw form, and Atma, is like Mahatma Gandhi, uh -huh. oh, Mahatma. Is, is, yeah, you Mahatma. drop the N, oh. in, 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 in real, yeah, in real sentence, yeah. the N, that's why you have problems between yoga and yogi, mm -hmm. okay. uh -huh. I believe it gets long, but anyway, here we go, Chen Dun Du Nyo Richer, okay, now we got to get to the starting and stopping part uh -huh. of the root text. Okay. Uh Rangshin the Kibu uh sorry. Rangni Nachi Chita Sunni uh Rangi Desa Kinji Chipan Tope Nachi Yiti Chir. Uh and I'm I'm a little shaky on here but let's go for it. Uh 
around me, me myself, not chi, chi to sunne. You tend to, uh, we call that join parts together. You tend to merge, assemble, merge the previous and later moments of me. Mm. You say, I, this morning I woke up, mm -hmm. I combed my hair. Mm -hmm. Then you tend to construct. Uh, not cheap before you can construct a, a band so. from the band of combing his hair to the band of sitting in the class. Mm. You construct a, a flow of band mm. from parts of band. Okay. Mm. Not cheap before. Not cheap. Cheap to You make you make a single unit from those disparate moments in time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sunne. So anyone can see that. Uh, your feelings come and go. Oh, okay, okay. come and go. Any fool can see <laughs> Born that your yeah. feelings come and go. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So, I'm understanding uh, uh, the 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 and to believe that, just that, is not an attachment to samsara. Mm -hmm. To fail to distinguish between nature and me is not the cause of samsara. Mm -hmm. But he says attachment to samsara. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that yeah. shamba is not the chakra. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that attachment yeah. is not the desire. They need to shape it some during during the temperature. It's, it's not correct to say, if you can distinguish between the universe and you, that you would be free. Okay. Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah, cool. Etc. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm going to take you to another commentary, to the same verse. Cool. Mm. Oh, uh, and this is Chiang Kai Rupi Doji. Very yeah. famous. He taught the Emperor of China. China. And uh, we should translate his book. It's four volumes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's, the comparative it's, Siddhanta, it's the ultimate Gita. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the ultimate Siddhanta. Quite a bit it, it translated already. In, I mean, into Chinese. Into Chinese. <laughs> yeah. If you want to, you know, tie up the rest of your life, uh, you can <laughs> tackle that. I, I'm willing to do it. No one's ever done it. Yeah. It's amazing. He's a, it's a... It's a brilliant piece of work. It's the work of a lifetime. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So here's a taste of Chankya. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, Pabokrupche mm -hmm. was actually the reincarnation of Chankya, according to some sources. Rangshin then gave a Chanyachin. Let's take Prakriti and Purusha. Cha Mepa Mayinte, they are not partless. Ooh. Because kunla kyap, they cover all things. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, there's the purusha which is over there. There's yeah. purusha over here. There's prakriti over there. There's prakriti over here. The two as a pair are not perilous. Uh -huh. I don't know. Is that what he's saying? I, well, I think I don't think so. I think he's saying separately. They're they're different. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's see where it goes. Okay. Let's see where it goes. <laughs> but anyway, it's the same proof we had at Doctor Wu's house. Do you remember? For emptiness. Which one? It was a proof for the. Uh, it was a proof that space had parts. Hmm. Oh. There's the east, west, right? north, oh, and south. Oh, no, no, it was attached. sexy. It was sexy. Detached one. Detached no. the space where you are, the space where I am. Space to the south must be separate from space to the north. Because when you fill this cup up, this one doesn't fill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Same thing. Okay. Because of location. You can't say that Prakriti or Purusha are partless. Because right. uh -huh. there's a part which is over there and there's a part which is over here. Mm -hmm. That seems good. Mm -hmm. Low Chichen, which I, 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 it's a, it's a Sankhya word. Is it Manas? Uh, oh, Budi. Budi, I think. Budi. I think it's Budi. Which is sometimes yeah. uh, or Chamba. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we studied it last time, and I got yeah, it straight, and then this. I forgot it, because yes. I don't want to think about it. I was obsessed with it. Okay, uh, <laughs> so, uh, Buddhi Chechen, very important in the Sankhi school. Dedo Minyo Orta, and we go to Adam's text. Yeah. We go to Adam's text. Mm -hmm. 
No, it doesn't experience pleasure and pain because it's it's physical matter. matter. Simple matter. Yeah, it's physical matter. Articulate. <coughs> Okay. Bembo you made What what is the, the low the mind so is it the mind or is it booty? Low. Well I'm saying booty for now. Okay. We were we said intellect, which is not beautiful, but we Yeah, maybe it's not. There's so don't care what Tade the Munson key, ship at some key, correlate door I mean It's not true that just by perceiving directly Mm -hmm. that pleasure, that pleasure etc and the purusha are separate mm -hmm. okay and and he's been equating day self with prakriti right because that's with one of the qualities that prakriti has and yeah, a bunch yeah. of other ones yeah. that yeah. purusha doesn't yeah okay uh -huh. yeah. Uh, so you don't get freed from samsara uh -huh. by seeing that you are separate from the universe okay okay lama jambe chipa nanki kyan now, he uses the word Chiba and he clarifies it. Probably Geshe Yeshe Wong Chu took it from him. Uh, mm. okay. And he said, look, uh -huh. e even uh, kids... So, so I bet Geshe Yeshe Wong Chu used his explanation. Mm -hmm. Or maybe there's an older one. Mm -hmm. uh, but even kids understand. They understand that they are separate from their nose, their ears, their... Powers. And their their own happiness, their own state of happiness. Because at the age of eighty, they want to leave that state of happiness <laughs> and go to a better one. Okay, <laughs> got it. So they understand. They have a belief that they are separate from from how they feel at any given time. Okay, they don't feel good in an eighty-year-old body. It hurts. So they're like, I would rather go to a different. Body. <laughs> then they believe that they're not that body, because they say, I want to leave that feeling of an 80-year-old, but I want to go to another one. Okay. They are tell Dani do Niniwa Porshene, those who believe in a self, right? They dark a wombo song, they chunk to give a wombo song to Niniwa. They aspire to better feelings mm -hmm. and better faculties. Right. I'm yeah. not, I can't hear anymore. I can't see anymore. You know, I want to go to a better one. Okay, so. Superior. Their state of happiness and their physical state, they want to, they want to go somewhere else. Okay. Rang ni ngachi chik te sung ne, de so ngachi pe be kenji che pa to pen chen. They understand that they are the flow of the previous and later moments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they understand that feelings can go from one moment to the other. Pe ba means to move, transfer. Oh, oh po, po. Yeah, po, yeah. Uh, they understand that feelings come and go. They understand the impermanence of feelings. Okay. Wangso dunya de gombe kowa de dua mite de. Tata ke dunya ke dunya na yin chawa de nda she da man sen da yin bi chik dan de chay ta na cha de yin cha de. Kapshen suwe chir. Wangso dunya de gombe kowa de dua mite de. I don't know who's saying this. Uh, you're not going to get his freedom from samsara just mm -hmm. by thinking about how your sense powers are suffering. But I think you do. <laughs> so I don't know who's saying that. <laughs> this yin jungwa means nyin jungwa. Renunciation or leaving? Yeah, yeah, to have some kind of renunciation for the suffering, for the suffering of suffering. Yeah that you are experiencing now. Denda Shedan Ban Sun Den Yin Okay, here it's clarified. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily the case that understanding that your feelings are suffering is gonna get you out of samsara because it's possible to get upset by that situation. Mm -hmm. Which is a cause of samsara. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's all he's saying. Hmm. Okay. It's, so, oh, it's I agree true. that you know there's a renunciation, and I would like to leave behind this capacity for feeling that I have now. But it's not necessarily the case that if you don't want to have a feeling, you are headed towards nirvana, right. <laughs> because 
like you can be in a traffic jam and get angry <laughs> yeah. about that bad feeling, but that just having a bad feeling about bad feeling is not going to get you out of samsara necessarily. That's pretty cool. Okay, yeah. because it can be a cause of samsara when you get upset. Sure. <laughs> you might just think ice cream will fix it all. And what's the <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. and what's the difference between the two? A healthy renunciation. And, and an angry renunciation. What's the difference between the two? Uh, Understanding the Atma? Yeah, you are attached to the self-nature of that uh, traffic jam. Yeah. You believe it's not coming from you. Wow, that's yeah. cool. Okay, cool. got it. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. That's Chunky Rupi Dojo. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> he's amazing. Every page is amazing. And it's like 2,000 pages. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to sell him subtly. Maybe not so subtly. Dewey's <laughs> love being so Someone try to translate this. This is the comparative, by the way. This is the instrumental or comparative. Oh. Compared to that. Uh, yeah. Other What's instances? Of, of this is the soul in Chuck's health. Uh, look searching for. Look yeah, at. searching for. Mm. Yeah. It's because searching for other... Yeah, searching for other higher stuff. Instances. Situations which are better than that. Better. <laughs> better. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. So it's possible, you know, to divorce yourself from those because mm -hmm. people look for better situations, right? Sure. Better bodies, you know. And then he says that's true because uh -huh. it says Dharma says so. Dharma Kirti says so. And then and then Chanky Rupa Dorje goes to Dharma Kirti. He goes to the same place. So all we're learning, is, we're, well, we're killing it now. Mm -hmm. You know, it's possible to make this footnote too long and put your readers to sleep. <laughs> you know, you got to make it hot and heavy. You know, like short and sweet. You got to make it like a knife. You know, like boom. You know, you know what this is really saying? This is a sunken thing. But don't make a two-page footnote. <laughs> when the footnote's longer than the text, it's really irritating. Right. Three and a half minutes. Unless I'm minutes. writing it. <laughs> <laughs> Till the next class, uh, just a couple minutes. By the way, uh, then some other people tried to uh, talk about Sankhya system, mm -hmm. and he accused them of Lodra Shinta Tsing. Tsing is the definition of Vitarka as opposed to Vichara. Oh. Vitarka, just not observing, understand. not up, uh, Rough as opposed to as opposed to discerning okay right here he's okay. criticizing them okay they're larger okay. they're, this is the real word for intellect and their understanding is very rough at best they're they're intellect is <laughs> it's like sandpaper and not sandpaper but superficial yeah superficial yeah sing one mm. so sing one means rough as opposed to uh it's the definition of sing shin yi is the definition of tokan mm -hmm. Uh, sure, what's the word for up. Vitarka in? Uh, here. Oh. We talked about it yesterday oh, because yeah, they Vitarka misspelled it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. It was right. supposed to be SP. Uh -huh. uh, DP means Exam Vitara. examination. Uh -huh. so, close examination, yeah. as mm -hmm. opposed to general awareness. Vitarka. Mm -hmm. And it's the definition in the uh -huh. Abhidharma. Uh -huh. Singwa is the definition of Vitara. Vitarka. Topa. Uh -huh. yeah, as opposed to Chupa. Cool. Uh -huh. rough, rough awareness. Not, and here he's using it as a criticism. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> Their loader is Tsingwa, yeah. mm -hmm. who, who can't understand this Shallow. Sankhya stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, are we free? Did we get free? <laughs> 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 there's the verse, okay, Utpal, it's up to you. You know, there's all the information you need. You just have to <laughs> chew. <laughs> you have to Jean chew did. on it. Okay, and we did all that work so that we could have four lines correct. Yeah. Okay? So don't don't make the work worthless. <laughs> don't waste that work. You know? Give me a really cool verse. Okay. And that proves to the world that you understand it's a criticism of the Sankhya's. You know, although he used it to prove that people can divorce themselves from the sense of their body. That people feel there's a me separate from the body. And I think he's in Dr. Chen. I think he's in the lowest kind of emptiness, which is this impression of a person who is independent, unchanging, 
and Unitary. Okay. But aren't we in the second? We're in I the don't second remember. level here. We're in the second. <laughs> Maybe we, we are. finished What's the second really word? quickly. Got you know, and Tinky Dot. Oh, uh, 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 Ron and Tinky Dot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you translate that for your own notes. Ron and Tinky Dot. Of course. Okay. Wait. Ron Cat Tupac. Don't forget me. Ron Cat Tupac. Yeah, self stand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As opposed to independent in the first one. Mm -hmm. Rangwa Chen is the first kind of emptiness, independent. Mm -hmm. Rangkya Tupa is the second one, self-standing. The guy in the crane. Mm -hmm. The guy driving the crane. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, that would fit the soul. Mm -hmm. That would fit the idea of a soul. Mm -hmm. I'm the guy driving the crane. That's right. I'm not the crane. Mm -hmm. <coughs> there's a me who's driving this body. You know, the the crane mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> there's a me who's driving this body. See, I would fit in the second one. I don't remember which one we're in. It would fit the second one. Whatever. We're in the second one. We dispatched the first eight forty five. Are we supposed to start? Yeah, yeah, we're supposed, yeah. To, we're supposed to start and stop and start on Alice. And the, I mean, well, we started oh, this one. We started this one about ten minutes late, I think. Uh, Fifteen minutes late. Well, so we could split the difference. It's okay, let's do that. stop, right? Well, I don't mind it. You know, that's also its own copy and thing where he will start the beginning of the next okay. one mm -hmm. just to... Yeah. He doesn't yeah. stop between right. things. Because uh -huh. it's okay. another quotation. It's clip. <laughs> right, like the old Batman yeah. shows. I like this one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the same oh, song cup of time. That's what song cup of time is. Holy Sancho Kirti. Batman? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, say say In the diamond business, the Jewish guys used to call me the the Orthodox guys. They call me Juke. Juke means roach. Hey, Juke. Cockroach. 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 Hey, cockroach. Anyway, Juke. This one doesn't do that. This is Umala Jusa. Okay. And tik means commentary. Okay. The the typists tend to mistype it because K cannot be a suffix letter. Oh. But this is the only one of the only cases in in, in Tibetan where K can be a suffix letter. Tik. 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 Uh huh. Because it's not Tibetan, right? <laughs> yeah. So in this one means uh, retroflex it. Turn your tongue back. Tik. Juk tik. It's tikka, as in var tikka, uh, and it means a commentary. Tikka. Those words, by the way, if you're interested, they are probably South Indian. They are probably Dravidian words. Oh, yeah. A lot of the retroflex sounds are are Dravidian. Mm. They're not Ar Arya. They're not North Indian. Mm -hmm. They're not the Persians or whoever it is that are not North Indian. Indo Aryan. Okay. Uh, anyway, Tik. That's a garbage trucker of some right. sort. I thought somebody was trying to start uh, Sagey's little truck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> By the way, you should really shouldn't move it. If, if well, I can't, but I'm going to yeah. give it away, so I, I just okay. have to sort that out. It's like a box under the, under the desk. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, I went and found it. He calls it Gombarab style. He calls it Juktik. Mm. The commentary to Mani Makavatar. He calls it. It's really Gombarab style. Oh, okay. Mm. Which is the clarification. Light on the truth thought or something like that. Mm -hmm. cool. Illumination of the truth thought. Mm -hmm. He calls it Jukti. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. <laughs> this is really hard, and it took me a long time. Because he mentions the two, and, and then I'm going to leave it, okay? I'm just setting you up for next time. He mentions the two kinds of consciousness. And I went and studied and studied and studied because he doesn't say what they are. But okay. they are Yiki Namashepa and Kunshi Namashepa. Okay. Oh. Uh, because. Oh, words turf. Uh, yeah. These two can oh. be considered the person in some schools. Right. Utpala yeah. is the awareness. Utpala is the silent witness in Utpala's mind mm -hmm. who watched the thought go by. Mm -hmm. That's the real Utpala. So there are some Buddhist schools which say Utpala is really the silent witness who watches the thoughts go by. Mm -hmm. 
Prabhi and you feel that, right? That's, that's, the, end that's the end of the line. Prabhi Yeah. That's the. Yeah, that's yeah. the first one. Yeah. Is that a kinta Ramri? Not really. We're gonna get there. Okay. Cool. Uh, but the, it's a cool idea because you yeah. feel like the yeah. real Nick yeah. is the person who's watching Nick's thoughts. I do think that. <laughs> so there are Buddhist schools who say that's the real Nick. Yeah. Yeah. That's me. You know, Michael is the person who hears Michael's thought, and it, he's always silent. He's a silent witness. Mm. Uh, and in in DCI terms, it's the person who watches the thoughts coming out of the seats. Mm -hmm. You know, because there must be somebody. Mm -hmm. not the Dharma. It sure seems like it. That's the person that from the seat that opened the moment before. Mm -hmm. yeah. Boy, that's freaky. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. And we're always mm. and we're always living one moment behind. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm. So that's Abhidharma. Mm. Uh, <laughs> but it's not a it's not a weird <laughs> idea, right? <laughs> that the real no. me is the person listening to my thoughts. No, it yeah. sounds good. Uh, then there's another school that says no, no. The real me is the Kunshi Namashirpa. Uh, the place where which words can right. tell you. Is the mind only school view of how seeds arise? Yeah. It's, it's, it's where the seeds, it's where the seeds live and it's where they open. Yeah. Okay. And that's the real me. So there are two schools of thought that he's referring to. Uh, some people think the real me is the storehouse where the seeds stay. Because that's what survives after I die. Okay? There has to be a part of me that survives after I die, because there has to be a part of me that holds the seeds for the new world mm -hmm. that open up later. Mm -hmm. That those seeds survive, you know, like a little package of seeds survives after I die. <laughs> that must be me. That must be me. And, and that's called Alaya Vijnana, mm -hmm. right? That's my store, my my store. packet of seeds that goes on. That's contained in Namsha and Yiko. Yeah, it's one of the two Namshas. Okay. okay. So we got Yiki Namsha, Yiki okay. Namsha, mm -hmm. and Kushi Namsha. Okay. Yes. So we, but he doesn't stay right there. I had to go find him. He just says so the two we're, Namsha. We're oh. forecasting Chinamatra discussion later. Uh, well, we are uh, getting to a new part of your text where we're discussing new ideas of who's me, mm. when I hold to me. If, if holding to me, according to Sugang's text, is the root of samsara, right? Mm. Chikta. Chikta. Holding to the self-existence of Michael mm. is the first link. Mm. Then we better find out what's Michael. Mm. Mm. You know, who's the Michael that I'm not supposed to hold to? Mm. Okay, and that's where we are. Mm. Okay. It, it's apparently not just Michael's body because I can think I would like to have a better body. Okay. So now let's look at mine. Yeah, it's really cool. It's like she's going through all the kinds of no self. Her text is going through all the kinds of no self. And, and Rinpoche used to say, there's a saying in Buddhism that Buddhism is like a ball of, of gur. Mm -hmm. Chocolate? Good? Sugar. Raw sugar. <laughs> uh, Raw brown sugar. Either one's fine. Uh, brown sugar. A big chunk of brown sugar. Like if you mm -hmm. leave brown sugar in the, in the cabinet for a couple of months, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. it goes... Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and the point they call, in, in the monastery, sometimes they call Buddhism in general the brown sugar lump. Because you can, if you taste here, you get this sweet taste. You know, mind only. And then if you go to sutra, uh -huh. you know, you get the same taste. Uh -huh. And really it's all one big uh, coherent ball of sugar. It's all coherent. Mm -hmm. All of your texts meet somewhere uh -huh. in the middle of the table. Mm -hmm. Way, way, way deep. No, and it's beautiful. <laughs> it's very beautiful. There's nothing we're learning here that doesn't connect to someone else's text. Mm -hmm. In this discussion, the last hour, we had Adam was here, Word was here, he was here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's cool. Mm -hmm. is it Buddhism is coherent. Is it the idea of Ikanyana? <coughs> yeah, you can say that. Tartu Tepachik. Mm -hmm. Say Tartuk. Tartu Tepachik. In the end, it's one path. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> That's a s idea from Prajnapada. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> Sashi Puhi Jukshin Mento Jam 
Don't bark on you, don't bark on you. 